Hello everybody, I am the Bro277 here, and today is my very first movie review of Jaws, my, my favorite movie of all time. I love this movie, it is a classic to me. Um, this movie actually was released in 1975, directed by Steven Spielberg, and was, stars Roy Scheider. Robert Shaw and Richard Dreyfuss was written by Carl Gottlieb and yeah I think I mentioned it was directed by Steven Spielberg. Uh, this is my 30th anniversary collector's edition. Yeah, this is uh, this movie's actually 41 years old this year 2016 it is 41 years old happy 41st birthday Jaws. Um, this is actually the first horror movie I ever watched so this movie has a little special place in my little old heart or my big old heart you know. Um, this, the plot of this movie is very simple, a lot of movies have tried to copy it, the plot is, um, <clears throat> excuse me, um, the plot is, this girl goes swimming, Chrissy, she goes swimming, she gets attacked by a mysterious thing in the water, and Chief Brody, played by the late, great Roy Scheider, yeah, he died in 2008, rest in peace, Roy. Uh, you were a great actor, he was also in Jaws 2, but never again, any of the Jaws sequels, I think that was a smart decision. I'm glad he came back for Jaws 2, though. But anyway, so they call in this marine biologist, Matt Hooper, and they tell the mayor, like, there's this shark around. And the mayor doesn't believe him. He's like, there's this 4th of July celebration, and, you know, he doesn't want to close the beach. And then there's another attack by this mysterious, mean figure in the water. And um, <clears throat> the chief is like, okay, you got to close the beaches now. So there, he keeps the beaches open for 4th of July, Finally, we see there is a shark who's attacking people, and Jaws eats some people, or he eats, like, one dude, <clears throat> excuse me, in the, uh, uh, on 4th of July, and then they call in this fisherman named Quint, and then the three of those dudes go out into the sea to kill Jaws. Let me tell you, this movie is suspenseful. It's, um... It's an adventure horror thriller, I, that's how I look at it, an adventure horror film. Um, this was the first summer blockbuster, and it was actually the highest, grossest, uh, uh, highest grossing movie, um, I think of all time, I'm not sure, Like I'll just say 1975, because it was the highest grossing movie of 1975. Um, this was inspired by the novel by Peter Benchley, and... Uh, yeah, Th this was inspired by Peter Benchley's novel. Thank you, Peter Benchley, for bringing us a masterpiece. I actually do not have the first Peter Benchley novel. If you watch my Jaws collection video, which I'll put a link to it in the description below, um, you know, um, I only have the Jaws 2 and the Revenge novel. Yeah, I have those two novels, but I do not have the original. I don't know how that happens. The original novel is very easy to find, and if you haven't seen Jaws, you got to see it. I highly recommend this to you. Um, my favorite part of the movie is actually... Um, I'm trying to think, because I love the whole movie. I'm trying to think. that My favorite my favorite part of the whole movie is when um, Roy Scheider is on the sinking boat. You know, Quint's dead. Spoiler alert. Yeah, Quint doesn't survive. And, he, you know, he's shooting at Jaws, and then he says, Spy, you son of a... And then, boom, shark explodes. Um... What can I say about this movie? I really like it. It is my favorite movie of all time. It is my favorite horror franchise as well. It's just my favorite franchise because this is just such a classic movie. I just love this movie. It's suspenseful. It's got great scenes, great characters, great pacing. Um, just, just everything. It's well made. The story is amazing. It's just everything about this movie is fantastic in my opinion. So check out Jaws. If you haven't seen it, you got to see it. I mean, it is just, oh my god, it is such a classic. Um, so, my score, 10 out of 10. Obviously, it's a 10 out of 10 for me. So, um, yeah, Jaws, classic movie in my opinion. If you haven't seen it, go see it. And if you have seen Jaws, go watch it again. It's such a classic. I can watch this movie for a thousand times and it never gets old. But, um, that's the Bro277's review of Jaws. This is actually my first review ever, and why not do it on my favorite movie of all time. So, I'll see you guys later. Like, comment, and subscribe to the Bro277, 
and I'll see y'all later for Jaws 2. Stay tuned for that.